So this is the tragic mess that we were left with after the shower. A very wet, not very particularly good to just stick in an airy room cockatoo. So what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to try and show you all how I do this because everybody seems to have issues. I don't know how the best way to fix this camera up. Give me a second, everybody. Because I want it to be from Aurora's point of view. And that's much better. Sitting on the toilet. Isn't that great, guys? That's usually where you're at anyway. Especially after you just got done washing the bird. Well, Aurora and I have a ritual. After I wash her, I must dry her because Her Majesty would not dare abide by me doing anything other than. So, Aurora, you need to, need to dry you off, baby. Okay? I just get her and I just love on her and I stroke her. She looks like a little wet hen is what she looks like to me. Well, you are a hen because you a girl. Now get up in that crest a little bit. Now make sure and put my hands on her so she knows she's safe. She knows she, nobody's going to hurt her. Nothing's got her. She's completely safe with Daddy. Daddy's going to take good care of her. You know, underneath the wings, very important to get under there because it takes a while for that to dry out, doesn't it, baby? So, you got to make sure and get those little fine feathers under there, don't you? You see how beautiful her wing is? Well, I hope you can see. You got to scrub those little feathers out. All right. You got to do the other side. So, I'm going to do you just like that. Rub you down real good. Let's get over there on your face a little bit. And get around your beak. Make sure that beak's good and clean. I can't have a girl with a dirty beak. All right, now let me get under here. Oh, and see, look how wet that was. Look, we got to fix that right right. We got to make sure to clean that up. While you're doing this, a lot of the old dead skin that they use that causes all the dander and everything on the cockatoos, a lot of that's going to come off. So, you know, be okay with that. Make sure and wash everything when you're done. But I just do all my birds, and since everybody's a part of the flock, there's no strangers coming in and out of the flock. Um, we don't really have any problems as far as, you know, transmittable diseases and such because we don't let, and the birds don't get around strange birds and birds they don't know. And I don't take them to bird shows and um, when I go to bird shows to get bird food and stuff for Cheeksy, I'm taking the pin feathers off the top of her head so that when the feathers come out, they will come out much easier and they won't annoy her or bother her. She's got a couple big ones. Maybe I can show you guys better this way. She's got, let's see if we can, we zoom down? No, we're not zoomed in a lot. No, you can see, let me just look at those things. They're nasty looking, so take my nails and just kind of tube you to slide it up. And you get that little bit off and chuck it. And let's see here. There's a good piece of one that has yet to come off. There we go. And she's very sweet about it. That was a good piece, you see that? You can hear it. It's pop. And you very gently pull it off. And I suggest everybody do that. I mean, if you've got a parrot at home, keep in mind in the wild, they'd be getting all this stuff off of them themselves. You know, their mates would be get doing that for them you don't do it, they don't have anybody to do it for them. And it causes a lot of misbehavioral stuff. No wonder you don't like your feathers. They hurt. 
they they agitate. It's like, you know, a man growing his beard is what I tell my clients. You know, when us guys got our beards coming in, it itches, ladies. It doesn't feel good. It itches. It hurts. Um, and it's the same thing with the birds. They've got these things that are covered in carrot and little sheets, and they're very itchy and annoying to them. So it feels really good, as you can see. It feels great to have me work on them and pop them for and get them so that they're growing easier and they're not bothering her. So look at all that. You needed a bath, you old dirty bird. You a dirty bird, eh? But, you know, with their crown, especially with the cockatoo, these crowns, they get these long blood feathers. You have to be really careful with the blood feathers. You would never want to get anywhere near that. See the difference between the feathers? You don't want to get near that. Because that not developed yet. That is underdeveloped. I will do it up to that point and that's it. Playing with the camera now, Rava. Alright, well, I think it's about done, Your Majesty. Here, you want to hop up? It's time to go back to Her Majesty's cage. Your front's a little off. You're going to have to work on that yourself. But, for the most part, I got what you couldn't get. Okay? Does that work for you, Rah Rah? Here, hold on a minute. we got to get these doors. Alright. But it's always good to dry them off, especially if you have a fan or any, you know, air purifier going. That way they don't get chilled. Step up. Good girl. Alright. Awesome. That's how to bathe your birds from the ferret guy. <laughs> Bye.